question. How do you generate a positive moment on demand? How do you generate a positive feeling right now, in this very moment? Here's a prompt. Think of a time that you were feeling very relaxed. Think of a time that you were happy. Think of a time you were with someone, friend or family member or colleague, and you just really enjoyed the interaction. Visualize it. See it again in your mind. Is it something where it was very nice to have a connection with them? Because you were just there talking or just sitting. Is it because they already understood you very well? Is this solved a really hard problem at work? Kind of relive that moment and kind of think to yourself, you know, I'm really glad I had that. Could be something from today, could be something from a month ago, could be something from a few years ago. Or maybe actually, go into your photo album, pull it up right now in front of you, and go and find a video and just rewatch it. Could be on Instagram, your gallery, and just rewatch that. And think to yourself, you know what? If I want to break from work, if I want to relax in the, the day, if I'm feeling stressed, I'm just going to relive a really nice moment from my life. Or you could relive this one. Because <laughs> here you are in the zoo, and um, you can rewatch this. And let that giraffe there relaxing, I think it's eating out of a barrel, remind it to you that you can just relax and relive moments in life. You don't have to seek new experiences, you can enjoy the old ones, right? So I'll give you 30 seconds to think about that special moment. And you can come back to this video anytime. You can watch it once and forget it, that's your decision. But the whole idea is you can come back to this whenever you feel like. And let this be a cue to you to remember those great moments in life. And where is this coming from? You can ignore my voice, you can think about things. But this is coming from research and psychology and other disciplines about savoring life. Hashtag savor. It's about savoring experiences that you've had or that you've had in the past or you're having now or you'll have in the future. It's also about the science of gratitude. Think about what you're grateful for. Helps you compare where you are now to where you could have been. You didn't necessarily have to have that nice moment with a friend, family member, or colleague. You could have not had it. But you're thinking, you know, I'm grateful that I had that. If you want further reading, you can read The How of Happiness by Sonia Lajubomirsky. Or you can read Gratitude Works. Or you can read one of our papers. Go to my website, josephjwilliams.com for such papers. And there's a paper there actually on promoting gratitude with young adults. It talks about the science of how we actually try to help people be more grateful in everyday life. What do you all take away from this? What would you share with someone else as an interesting insight? What do you share with them as a concrete thing they could do each day, each week, when they're stressed or when they want to relax, take a break? Instead of going to Instagram, instead of eating a piece of like a snack, or even before you do it, just come and watch this video. And let this video almost be like your key or your mantra. Think back to those nice moments in life. Or if you want, just watch some giraffes. So what are you going to do after this? How are you feeling right now? Hope you have a great day. Me and the giraffes are wishing you a gr grateful giraffe. Grateful giraffe is saying, what are you grateful for? 